everyone, welcome to Anaheim Park Tourist. Today we're going to be giving you a room tour here of our room at the Westin in Anaheim. The Westin is located at 1030 West Catella Avenue in Anaheim. It is rated number three out of 128 hotels on TripAdvisor at the time of filming. The Westin is a 1.1 mile walk to the gates of Disneyland or 1.8 kilometers and it takes about 22 minutes to walk through downtown Disney. We paid for this room out of our own pocket. We booked a two queen room here at the Westin and we decided to go on the cheaper route and we didn't get a view room. So they do have those rooms available where you have a view into California Adventure and some of the rooms do have a balcony as well. This room has a ton of charging options if you have a lot of things that need to be charged. Here in between the beds and this nightstand, there's two regular outlets and two USBs on each side. Also, the alarm clock has two USB outlets. The best part of this headboard that I really love is there are cubbies on the side without the nightstand and inside the cubby there are two USBs. So I was able to charge my phone in there at night and I had a nice little shelf to keep my phone so I could check the time in the night as well. Also each side of the headboard has a nice reading light that pops out in case you want to read at night when everyone else is asleep. And surprisingly, this room being so close to the convention center doesn't really have a dedicated desk, but they do have this really nice seating area with a table that you could use as a desk. And there are two outlets here and two USBs as well to plug in all your electronics if you were coming here for a convention. Also, this area right here would be really great to put a crib or a pack and play, maybe even a stroller. There is area to put these items in the room if you need to. In addition to the two USB and two regular outlets in the wall, this phone receiver also has a USB on the side as well. Right here, they do provide glassware, actual glassware, and they did have paper cups as well for tea and coffee for the coffee pot. Another nice touch that we really liked that they included was this wine cork and bottle opener in case you needed it for the room. And they do provide uh, waters every day as well. Under here is the mini fridge, and in this drawer were all the coffees and pods and things for the coffee maker. One of my favorite things in this room was this full length mirror that also lights up. It was a great space for me to put my makeup on in the morning when someone else was hopping in the shower in the restroom. There's a great closet. It had a luggage rack, iron, ironing board, and the safe is also in here. There's also some drawers if you wanted to unpack more like a dresser and it does light up when you open the doors. Right in the entryway, there is a little bit of a storage area. We put some of our luggage here and you could also store a stroller here as well. The bathroom here at the Westin is gorgeous. The shower was awesome. We love the shower, really roomy. The only thing we wish is that the controls for the shower were here because um, you have to kind of get all the way in the shower to turn the water on. One other thing that we just wish was a tad different was outdoor into the toilet area. So there's no privacy when you're in the toilet. You have to shut this main door here. I do really appreciate how much counter space there was here and also that there's four hooks to hang stuff on. Like my toiletry bag hangs from a hook so that was really convenient to have and it was nice to be able to hang our shirts up when we showered to kind of steam get the wrinkles out of those as well. I do really also love how much lighting there is in this bathroom and it is dimmable, which is another nice feature. When we would go to bed at night, I would dim it to the lowest possible. So if anyone needed to use the restroom in the night, you weren't blinded and it was nice kind of as a nightlight as well. And another thing to note is the shower head, the handle part that comes off is adjustable. So you can adjust the height of that and it was really easy to move it up and down to wherever it was comfortable for you. Another thing that we thought was a really nice feature in this room is that it's touch screen for all the lights everywhere in the entire room at the entry, the bed, and in the restroom. Also here for the climate control is all touch screen. So you can adjust everything that way and they are really easy to use. Please keep an eye out for an experience video for this hotel coming out soon. If you're curious about the other Marriott properties in the area, please click the link here for the JW Marriott in Anaheim. Thank you.